have nothing. But I don't, I don't, I don't like the fact that you want to search everything because it's like you don't believe me. Right, I'm, a, I'm, I'm, no, I'm gonna get it, bro. I'm a, I look. Nope. Step on up. What? Whoa, whoa, whoa! Hold on, hold on, hold on. The war on drugs has raged for decades, with criminals and law enforcement constantly trying to one up each other. But what happens when stupid suspects face off against seasoned cops? Here's my back. I know you're smuggling marijuana. Yeah. Here are times when dumb suspects try to hide drugs. Up first, a routine traffic stop resulted in an arrest and seizure of more than one million dollars in street drugs in New Mexico. I know you're smuggling marijuana. Yeah. How much marijuana do you have? It's probably about, uh, I don't know exactly, but I know it's over 100 pounds. Over 100 pounds. On February 10th, 2022, Cibola County, New Mexico, Deputy Julian Armijo made probably the easiest drug bust of his life when he stopped suspect Amos Wairiku for a traffic violation. Good morning, sir. How you doing? Good. How are you? Good. I'm Deputy Armijo with the Cibola County Sheriff's Office. You're I'm stopping you. You're all over the roadway, man. You crossed that white line on the left side of the road a couple of times. Well, I'm sure you're not drinking or falling asleep. Oh, no, I'm not. You all right? Yeah, I'm okay. Okay, you've been driving for a while? No, I just woke up this morning. You just woke up. Okay, you got your driver's license registration yeah. insurance? I have a, this one here. Okay. Perfect, man. If you get a step, step out for me, follow to my car. I'm gonna give you a written warning. We'll get you on your way, okay? okay you. Yep. No weapons on you, boss? No, sir. I'm just going to pat you down. Yeah, okay, yeah, you yeah. have a seat in my front seat. Right? You want to have a seat for me? You doing all right, man? You're all tired right now? I'm all right. Okay. You just got to pay attention to the road, okay? Yeah, I'm sorry about that. No worries, man. It happens. I just want to make sure you're safe to drive. I'm just going to give you a warning, okay? All right. Sorry about that. How you doing today? I'm doing well. Where are you headed? I'm headed back home. Where's home? Uh, Texas. Nice. Where are you coming from? Uh, right there, uh, Flagstaff. Flagstaff. Authorities were investigating a series of armed robberies in the area, prompting deputies to be on high alert. Officer Julian Armijo, who is part of a federal drug task force, conducted a traffic stop on a suspicious vehicle and immediately noticed a strong odor emanating from the car. However, the officer's investigation was brief, as the suspect was quite forthcoming. Okay, man, so one more thing before I finish this up, okay? When I made initial contact with you, now that I checked the bin on the vehicle, I got the odor of marijuana coming from the vehicle, okay? okay. New Mexico is a recreational state. You can have up to two ounces of marijuana, okay? How much marijuana do you have in the vehicle? Uh, probably like... Okay, be, okay, let me tell you something, okay? Be honest with me. Mm. You didn't get stopped by the regular police, okay? You got stopped by an interdiction unit, okay? Yeah. And I know you're smuggling marijuana. Yeah. Okay. I know the back of that van right there is full of marijuana. All those bags right there? Yes. I can smell it. It's strong. Mm -hmm. Okay, I've been doing this for a while. Yeah, I might have up very well. Okay, how much marijuana do you have? It's probably about, uh, I don't know exactly, but I know it's over 100 pounds. Over 100 pounds? Yeah. Okay. Do you give me consent to search your vehicle? Yeah. Okay. Amos admitted to his offense and permitted a search of his vehicle. He was an open book, and Deputy Armijo had a lot of questions. Just answer this question for me. Do you understand your rights? Yeah. Can I understand your rights? Do you wish to talk to me? No. It's like, it's yes or no. Do you want to talk to me about yes. this situation? Yes. Okay. So where are you coming from, man? I'm coming from California. California. Okay. Yeah. And are you just a driver, or you're, did you pick up this marijuana for someone else? Are you, are you getting paid for it? No, I'm just a driver. You're just a driver? Yeah. Okay. Who are you, who are you working for? Uh, the guy on this, on this paper right here. You on that paper right there? Yeah. How much are you getting paid to, to haul this marijuana? Uh, it's a pretty fair down, like, maybe like seven, eight thousand. Seven or eight thousand? Yeah. Okay. So you're picking it up from Cali, where are you taking it? I'm um, taking it to Washington, Washington, D.C. Washington. Okay. Right. So you're getting paid to. So you're basically you're the mule. Yeah. That's yeah. what you're doing. Okay. How long have you been working for this uh, drug uh, trade organization? Not too long. What? Like two months. Two months. Mm -hmm. Is it a big work organization? Uh, no, nah, no, nah, it's not. It's just small time people. Small time people. Yeah. Nothing like nothing huge. No cocaine. Nothing like right. that. Right. But this guy's the main. Yeah, he's the one main of the guys. guys. Yeah. Okay. All right, man. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna. I'm gonna get out. I have to put cuffs on you, okay? Yeah, I'm gonna put cuffs on you. 
was gonna have you stand, uh, sit right there on that brick for me, okay? And then uh, I'll search, search the vehicle and then we'll uh, go from, from there whatever I locate, okay? okay? Upon examination, the deputy discovered seven duffel bags filled with marijuana, registering a street value of more than $1 million. Are you traveling with anybody else? Is anybody else following you or are you by yourself? By You're by yourself? Okay. So I just want someone to roll up on me while I'm doing this, okay? No, no, you're good. All right, so man. Okay. Despite the deputy seizing a significant amount of marijuana, Amos will not face charges due to a technicality. The county sheriff explained that the federal threshold for prosecuting marijuana crimes is based on weight and there must be 1,000 pounds or more of the drug. Come over here for me. So you state the marijuana is not yours, correct? Yes, there is transport in this, okay. Like I explained, I'm a federal task force officer through HSI, okay? The amount you have here doesn't meet the threshold for me to charge you right now, okay? I'm gonna get all your information, document everything, I'm gonna forward it over to an agent, okay? I'm gonna have you fill out this abandonment form, but you state that the marijuana is not yours, you're abandoning the marijuana, okay? I'll fill this out, I'll email you a copy so you can take it to your boss and show them, like I got stopped by the police, they seized my marijuana, so, they know it, that you didn't, you know, yeah, I didn't do you, you didn't do away with it, you know what I mean? Um, right, right. Code 4, regional, I'm code 4. I did locate a large amount of marijuana in this vehicle. Several large double things. And as it turns out, Amos had a lucky and an unlucky break at the same time. All right, man. Well, good luck with your box. The agents will be in contact with you. You might be having the marshals kicking on your door to take you to prison, so. I'm serious, man. It's a lot of weed. Oh, so it's like that? Oh, it's like that, man. I told you, I can't, I can't arrest you right now, but the agents will uh, get all the documentation together and they might be kicking in your door with a warrant. So just keep an eye on the mail for paperwork. All right. Since the seizure didn't meet that weight requirement, the federal government declined to prosecute, simply interviewing the suspect Amos and releasing him. The sheriff later revealed that the marijuana will be destroyed. However, the next suspects weren't as fortunate. Eric Larkins and Shavonta Powell were stopped for speeding in Trempealeau County. And during the traffic stop, they were found with $100,000 worth of cocaine. Is there anything inside the vehicle tonight, man? Nah. Can I search your bag? Uh, no. On March 23, 2021, in Osseo, shortly after 5 a.m., Officer Jay Vogt made a traffic stop of a vehicle after seeing a traffic violation. Two people, identified as Eric Larkins, 27, of Minneapolis, and Shavanti Powell, 28, of Plymouth, Minnesota, were in the vehicle. When the officers questioned them, the suspects weren't too forthcoming. Hey, Officer Vogt, the Osseo Police Department. Who's I stop user? Speed. You know how fast you're going? Yeah, probably Nah, you want faster than that, man. Nah, I break. Yeah, I, I saw you. You're coming around the corner, man. I, I know you. Yeah, yeah, you hit your brakes. Yeah, you're going 
going about that fast when you went past me. I do a 90. Yeah, you saw me when I came around torpedo the brakes. I mean, I get it. Where are you coming from? Indiana? Alright. Is this your rental then or what? Cars? You got your ID with you? Anything inside the vehicle I need to know about? What's that? No. Any marijuana? What's that? No. no. Cocaine? Methamphetamine? Heroin? Those are just questions I asked. Yep. Traffic stops lead into a lot of different okay. things, ma'am. Nope. Traffic stops lead into a lot of different things. When you're going from one state to another, well, no, I'm just asking questions. Find out what making sure everybody's on the straight and narrow, you know? That's all. That's all. Black you be. Okay. Yep. Yeah. Nope. You'd be surprised what we find out here. You know, find a bunch of coke and stolen guns the other week. Traffic stop simply for speed. So, alright. Fair enough. Well, I'll be back with you, alright? On further investigation, the officers found that the car was a rental and something in their stories seemed off. They were going 90. What's that? They were going 90. They were going 90? But they're saying that they're coming from Indiana, going back to the cities, but they have, they rented it at 10.58 p.m. on the 22nd, so like six hours ago. It has to be returned tonight by 9 p.m back in Chicago. And they rented it in Chicago? Yeah. But they're coming from Indiana? Yeah. Yeah, that don't line up, does it? Yeah. You wanna ask, it, she rented it, it's under her name. The driver? Uh, passenger. Passenger? Ask them and what their plans are, how they're supposed to return it back to Chicago. I'm just gonna have you step back here. I'm just gonna chat with you a bit, all right? Just wanna go right back there over more of the shoulder. Is there anything on you, man? Guns, knives, anything? Mind if I pat you down? Come on down over here, man. Stay sweet. There you go. Are you on probation out of Minnesota? No, sir. No. I'm not on that. Were you on probation before? No, sir. No. What was the last time you got arrested? Uh, probably like a few months back or something like that. What was that for? Uh, I got arrested in a car in a vehicle with some guys. So All right. it was about like two, three months ago or something like that. Yeah. Probably two months ago. All right. What did you get arrested for, though? Uh, being with somebody. I guess they was. That's not illegal. What did you get arrested for? I got arrested for being with somebody. It was like a. Basically, they was coming, somebody had a warrant, and they was following him. Like, he had a warrant for his arrest. Yeah. He was in the car with me. I was driving. And that's when I got pulled over. I got arrested with him. What did they charge you for, though? Uh, PC um, weapons. One of the suspects, Eric Larkins, had a criminal record on him. The officers started to question him further. I don't know, to be honest, like, I'm yeah. trying to think back, but like, I got arrested like, probably like a month ago or something like that, like right. two months ago. And that was for what you just said? Say that again. And that was for what you just said? Yeah, I believe All so, right. yeah. What was the last time you got a drug charge? That drug you at least charge. got charged? That was the same thing. Okay. That was, I guess it was paraphernalia in the vehicle when they, when okay. they towed the vehicle. Is there anything inside the vehicle tonight, man? Nah. If you got a little bit of weed or a pipe, I'll no, toss it. I but got, I don't have shit, bro. All I'm right. Lie to you about that. She just really just picked me up from Indiana. I would have flew, but the shit cost too much. Yeah. And I was trying to take the bus, but I still didn't have no way from Indiana to get to Chicago. Pretty much, the okay. mega bus is the cheapest shit. You know? Yeah. They don't have that up in Indiana. How'd you get down there? Say that again. How'd you get down there? Where to Indiana? Yeah. I drove down there. I drove with my brother to Indiana. This was a okay. while back. Probably like few weeks or something like that. All right. A week ago, two weeks ago. You know, I've only you been at my know. sister's house. No, yeah, it's like two weeks ago. All it right. ain't that long. I've been down here for like four days. My sister basically had a housewarming party, so I've been down here at her house. So. Okay. Just chilling. Why? Is, did I do something wrong or something? Well, this is a little weird, man. What's a little weird? 
like a, a rental that's supposed to be returned in the same city to go up to go back you don't know how long you've been down there you got do. you have a pretty good criminal history going on nah, i just told you how long i've been yeah. down there and my girl already she got the rental because i've been down there a couple yeah. of days and i couldn't get home yeah. so i would have been came home she actually doing yeah. me a favor and she, why didn't you why didn't she just get you a one way and you go drive it to minnesota and turn it in and be it, done bro it cost 700 800 to do a one way in that vehicle well, believe me or not they're costs, gonna they're gonna that's because they already factored the miles in she's going back <laughs> to yeah. chicago though yeah with her dad now they're no well, that's why then they're gonna rack up the miles because you pay per mile i'm pretty it's sure free, so. no it's no? free mileage i don't i don't i don't know uh, what you're talking about it's free mileage that's it, this is the cheapest way to bring uh, i wouldn't i wouldn't make that up yeah. i wouldn't I, i've been trying to get here for like shit three four uh, days like leave but like i wouldn't that that's the easiest way you could google it right now oh, yeah. 700 800 dollars at the most it costs to leave in minnesota i asked her the same thing sure. she said shit i would have flew back but it costs too much to leave a vehicle so i'm gonna just drive back i chose to drive here so okay. she could sleep because she got to drive back you know? right. that's too long and you're a convicted felon right uh yes sir all right yeah. so. i have been convicted 2010 okay. like i was a juvenile then, right. so what was that for it was for uh aiding and abetting basically what was that <laughs> oh, shit that's the charge aiding and abetting accomplish out the fact okay what was the charge that you're aiding and abetting? Um, I want to say it's like murder, basically. Okay. I was a juvenile, so right. somebody died, basically. I went to jail. I was there. All right. Told about everything. Can't, you know. And right. then I got put on probation. Okay. So that's the only reason I'm a convicted felon. You know? All right. I was 17. Dude. What's yours inside the vehicle right now? I can't hear you, bro. What's yours inside the vehicle? What do you mean? What's bags? What What's yours? My duffel bag. Yeah, is that it? Yeah. Does she have any bags? Uh, yeah. She got her backpack. All right. Do you have a problem if I search your bag? Say that again. Can I search your bag? Yeah, I'll say you can search it, but I would want to know why. Like, do you not believe me? No, I don't. All right. Well, if I give you my bag and search <laughs> my bag, I can go by my way and stuff. Yeah. If you guys got nothing, you're gonna be on your way. What do you mean got nothing? It's nothing in the car. Bro. Guns, knives. That shit. Nothing in the car. Any so, large sums of cash? Say that again. Large sums of cash? No, sir. No? That's why we're just trying to make sure that everybody's no, on the straight and narrow, that. you know? So as long as there ain't nothing crazy in there. I don't have nothing, but I don't I don't, I don't like the fact that you want to search everything because it's like you don't believe me. But I can give it to you and show you like all yeah, this. Yeah, people lie to us, man. All right, so you want me to... You just hang tight here. I'm just going to chat with her. All right, I'll be right with you. Shavante, on the other hand, didn't seem to take too kindly to being questioned by the officer. Shavante? All right, sorry. Is there anything inside the vehicle that you know about? Any any guns? Drugs? Large sums of cash? Can I search the vehicle from bumper to bumper? Like I told you before, trying to make sure that everybody's doing what they're supposed to be doing, you know? All right, so he already gave me permission to search his bag. That's why I'm asking you, because you rented the vehicle and you're in the vehicle. All right. All right, so do you have a problem if I search the vehicle? I don't, I don't think that's necessary. That's what's throwing me off. It's kind of, I, I don't know what, what this is getting at, but I'm starting to feel kind of like offended, almost. I was doing pulled over, and again, I'm asleep. Yep. So. Yeah, and I'm asking you because you're, you rented the vehicle and you're in the vehicle. Because for what I see on on the on the interstate out here, it's not necessarily common to get a one, get a rental that's from Chicago and be driven up to the cities and return back to Chicago with his criminal history okay, and whatnot. So based off his criminal history, so. Well, and you have some stuff, theft, whatever. And I'm not worried about that. I'm just making sure that there's a, that he's not in possession of any firearms, all right, because he's a convicted felon, and that you don't and that you don't have any drugs. And large sums of cash that you're not that you're not bringing stuff from one place to another. All right, you're still good with me uh, searching your bag. <laughs> Why? Wow, what she say? What happened, bro? Tell oh no, she doesn't like me. I don't think. I'm gonna be honest. She was, she's upset. She's tired. Yeah. No, but I mean, she spelled it out of everything that's kind of weird. You, you said know what? She spelled everything out. That's kind of weird. She spelled everything out. Yeah. What she talk about. 
I mean, to get a to get a rental to ask go back, oh, you know, that's how you you don't even know how long you've been in Indiana. Because when I first asked, you want me to get on the phone and call and verify? You can hear my sister talk. No, She's but you know, right the first now, answer was a week and a half. And then, no. when you, then you said a, she told me a week, and you told me like a month back here. See, that's how I know you was over just listening. It was a month because you asked questions in three different shapes and forms. Eric denied the officer on his request to search the vehicle, but he quickly backtracked when the officer decided to deploy the canine unit. I was uh, there. I'm familiar so with again, that. So again, can I search your bag? Uh, no. All right. Hang tight. I'm no, gonna go get I'm, my certified narcotics I'm canine. A, I'm, Stay no, there. I'm gonna get it, bro. I'm, I, look, nope. Good... Stay there. You, bro, I'm not. I get her shit too. To be honest, you can no. get your dog out too. But I'm telling you, bro. I really just like the way you said that to me. Like jumping around there. Can I search your bag? Like I'm trying to be like you. Like. She's upset, bro. She's nope. pissed, so that's that's getting on her nerves. Fine. Like, you pissing her up, that's my girl, that's bro. Understand me. That's fine. Is you there know? anything inside the vehicle? No, sir. All right. Nope, you're good. Oh, God, come back. Yeah, you're good, bro. Where is it? Suck it up. Hurry up. Check. Check. Hurry up. Check. Good girl. Come here. The K9 unit immediately detected something from the driver's side of the car which gave the officers reasonable suspicion to search the car. Where is he, Kimber? Where is it? Where's it, Kimber? Show me. Where's it? Where's it? Yeah. All right, Eric, you're gonna come take a seat in the back of my car, man. Come on. Right out here. There right, you go. Take a seat. Can I sit in now? No. Please. She ain't gonna get you. Yeah, but There's can I get in There's a cage. She can't I know. Yeah. You'll be okay, man. Seriously, you're There you go. Seven to seven, Tony. Positive alert. Driver's side door. All right, Trevante, I'm gonna have you step on out. All right. Yeah, my certified narcotics canine alerted to the driver's side door. I'm gonna have you step on out. You said what? My certified narcotics canine alerted to the driver's side door. I'm gonna have you step on out. Again, anything on you inside the vehicle? No. No? All right, then this is going to be quick and easy, all right? I'll have you go step in front of my squad car here. I got a question. Yep. Is there a reason, is, well not is it a reason, the reason why we were separated, can you guys just clarify that for the video? Yep, it's because I have one seat in he my only car. He has one seat in his car. And so he's here. In this car? Yep. Yeah. I would like to be in this car then. No. There's nowhere to sit. Let's go. Okay. There's nowhere to sit the dogs in, in the other car. What's up? Oh, please, bro. Please. I sit. I sit. Put me in that one. She this can't get you. Bro, she's loud and shit in my ear. Yeah. I promise you. Just calm down, man. Let's go. When it was searched, a 1.126 kilogram package of cocaine was found, worth approximately $100,000.
Give me your phone. Huh? Come here. Step on out. What? Whoa, whoa, whoa. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. What's happening? What is take a happening? Seat. What is happening? We'll take a seat. Take a seat. There's a key lock. A what? There's a key. We're gonna turn your back. Step on out. We're gonna turn your back. What's going on? I'll come travel with you in a bit. This wasn't even, that side was good, this side was popped. The officer cut a small hole in the center of the object and there was a white powdery substance. So no, that's it. Kimber was hitting hard on the driver's side. That brown? Well, that could be wax paper too. We'll find out. Yeah. No, I just poked it just to make sure. I mean, what wrap? What wraps like that? But oh, I know. Yeah. yeah. Um, she was hitting hard on the driver's side, trying to crawl into the car. Okay. Uh, so I came back here, noticed that was still popped on, saw that that was not. The, and then there it was. It is right inside. Yep. Man, bro, could you please turn this off, bro? Eric. There's nothing but air pushing through here, bro. Please turn yeah, this off. Yeah, it's for the dog. Calm down. Nah, but I can't. I'm, bro, Eric. I'm anemic, so my feet, feel my hands. Eric, calm down. I got a little blood, bro. So Eric, stop banging oh, on my car. Can I, all right, can you put me in another car, bro? No. I got my anemic, man, so I'm cold. My feet, I can't feel my toes, and I can't feel my fingertips. Yeah, it's I'm being honest cold. with you. It's not that cold. I wouldn't be banging on the door, bro, if I couldn't feel this shit. I'm banging because yeah. I can't feel it. Oh. I'm being honest with you. That's what I'm banging. I'm trying to get back. All right. So right now, I'm just going to read this to you because yeah. we're chatting here and there, you know? You have the right to remain silent. Anything you say can and will be used again to in a court of law. You have the right to talk to a lawyer, have one present with you while you're being questioned. If you cannot afford to hire a lawyer, one will be appointed to represent you before any questioning if you wish. You can decide at any time to exercise these rights or not answer any questions or make any statements. Do you understand that? Yeah. All right. So I already found what was in the trunk. What was in the trunk, man? You don't know? No, I do not. I don't think the last guy who rented that car forgot it in there. What's in the trunk? Because we found also what it looked like a bullet hole on the side of the car. She just rented the car, bro. So, what's in the trunk now that you found? Are you going to be straight up? Yep, something? probably about the kilo that was tucked back there. And you think I had that? You did have it. You were driving. It's in the car. You're right. I was driving. It was in the car. Yeah. Who's the guy you said had the car before us? I have no idea. Alright. Well, it's a bullet hole. It looks like it could be on the side of the car, too, as well. Right. I said something to her. Well, when here, she here it we up. are. This is where we're at, though. You guys are in possession of it. You're driving the car. Okay. Alright. Yeah. So you are under arrest for it, yes. I was looking for some cooperation as to what's going on, where you're going with it, and all that. Because I also have a guy from that works for the county. Yeah, I have a guy that works for the sheriff's office. He's going to come up and talk with you guys, too. He's going to be a little curious as to where you're going and see if you're going to work with us. What do you What do you have with you? Is it cocaine, fentanyl, or meth? Bro, you keep asking questions. You tell me what the fuck it is. Okay. Tell me what's going on. Quit asking me questions. It was in the trunk. Well, tell, it was behind, I'm behind the lighter. I need a lawyer for this. I need a lawyer to, to be able to talk okay. on my behalf. You're under arrest. You're going to be going to jail. Eric and Shivanti were charged with felony manufacturing slash intent to deliver cocaine. Both Larkins and Powell were arrested and placed in the Trempolo County Jail. 
In the following case, two suspects were caught smuggling $2 million worth of cocaine and attempted to conceal it from the officers. His bank back. Manusen, Thursday, May 26, 2022, at approximately 4 p.m., an Indiana state trooper stopped a tractor trailer at the 37-mile marker eastbound on Interstate 70 for a routine compliance inspection. The driver of the tractor trailer was identified as Leonardo Hernandez, age 38, of Miami, Florida, with one passenger, Rolando Acevedo, age 24, in the vehicle. The officers proceeded to question both the suspects. What's inside the trailer? Uh, it's freezer. Huh? A freezer, freezer. Minus 10. It's, it's like milk. It's going to uh, a car park. This one, no? It's going to a car park. Okay. Uh, going to, uh,
turn around. Right now. Hands behind your back. Don't move. No se mueva. Manos arriba. During the conversation with the driver and passenger, the investigating officer noticed signs of criminal activity. A consent search was conducted, leading to the discovery of hidden narcotics. Manos arriba. Manos arriba. It's not tight, I can put my finger in there, just the way your hand is. There you go. Good? We'll adjust them when somebody else gets here. You can put it on the You're twisting your... Huh? You put it on the front. When somebody else gets here, okay? Can I make a call? Yeah, yeah. I got somebody coming. You guys can get up off the ground here in just a minute. We'll adjust the cups, okay? What is it? So I got somebody else coming. I need to read you your rights. You have the right, before we ask you any questions, you must understand your rights. You have the right to remain silent. Anything you say can will be used against you in the court of law. You have the right to talk to a lawyer for advice before we ask you any questions and to have him with you during questioning. If you can't afford a lawyer now, one will be appointed for you before any questioning if you wish. If you decide to answer questions now without a lawyer present, you still have the right to stop answering questions at any time. You also have the right to stop answering at any time until you talk to the lawyer. You understand your rights? I need to just hit yes or no. Yeah. I don't have a Spanish one, so we'll get you one later. My phone number, my phone, so I can make a call. This is it. Who you gonna call? Oh my god, this is it. Okay, I'll call him. And my baby one. Your baby? Yeah, my baby one. Is that right? You say your baby mama? Yeah. Okay, yeah. Maybe we'll do that in a little bit, okay? Alright. Could I smoke a cigarette? Real quick? Yeah, I'm waiting for the other guy to get here. He's about three minutes away. We're not trying to do nothing stupid. I hope you know, not. We're, we're calling over you. Alright. You want to make a phone call, that's it. Okay. Right. You want to talk to me about anything that's going on today? No, I don't know why you pull us over. Okay. Well, I do I do uh, commercial vehicle inspections. That's why that's why I stopped you guys, okay? Uh, I'm, uh, I'm going to be up front. Looks like there's some drugs in the truck, okay? So, uh, I don't know if you guys want to cooperate with us or not. If you don't want to make any statements, that's fine. I don't know what's going on. So, okay. Are you able to translate by asking something? Yeah. Okay. Ask him if he wants to cooperate with this investigation. Can you ask him that? Okay. The officer arrested the suspects when he found suspected cocaine in the back of the trailer. I like weed in here, don't it? <laughs> Basically, these two boxes, just right there. Now it's covered up like this. So I'll take a couple pictures of that. Still use your camera? Yeah. It does smell like weed in here. Mm -hmm.
but we can bring those out. If you want to grab one, I'll grab the other. Where's the other box at? Okay, cool. The search revealed approximately 44 pounds of suspected cocaine, with the estimated street value of $2 million. The suspects were later charged with the following counts. Leonardo Hernandez, dealing a narcotic drug, level 2, felony. Possession of a narcotic drug, level 3, felony. Rolando Bermudez Acevedo, dealing a narcotic drug, level 2, felony. Possession of a narcotic drug, level 3, felony. In the next case, the suspects got caught when they made the stupid mistake of exceeding the speed limit while smuggling narcotics on a highway. I don't understand what to do with that. Car, okay? In March 2014, New Mexico State Police stopped Michael Diego Gustavo Senna traveling eastbound on I-40 just west of Route 66 Casino. You roll down the back window! Hey. Officer Rodriguez, New Mexico State Police. The reason why I stopped you, man, doing 92 in the 75. If I could just see your driver's license, insurance, and registration, please. You can roll up that window, man. Just so the point that I've been through. No, there's a bunch of bathrooms. I'm trying to see my cousins. I'll take this will be fine man. Uh, can I have you come back to my car? We'll talk back there. Look the server check you back on the road, man. Thank you. You don't have the uh, registration? Huh? It's fine. If not, it's fine. Yeah, if you find it, just hold it out the window if anything. When the officer questioned Michael and his mom Dolores, their stories did not line up. What were you doing out in a uh, gallop? We were visiting my cousins. Like we're having oh, a big okay. get together like at my grandma's. We were supposed to just wait for the fourth, but now everybody made it. And who's in the car with you today? Mom, Your mom? My mother. Yeah. What's her name? Dolores. Dolores? Yeah. Yeah, I seen you. I was trying to pass, but I didn't want to like, you know, because like we have like this thing on the side. See like how we have like the lights? It shows when someone's next to us and like it kept flashing, so I wasn't sure to pass you. Yeah, I was, I was staying right there so you yeah. wouldn't just so. Yeah, our plate just came in too. Did it? Yeah, we got a call. We got to pick up the plate. Cool, man. I just got to check out the VIN. There's one on the dash, one on the door. No, I understand. I have to check out both. Uh, what I'll have you do is step out, hang out right here by my yeah. front tire, yeah. front right tire, and then I'll check this out, come right back, we'll get this cool. out, okay? What brings you guys to this part of New Mexico? I'm oh, sorry? Get in the way? Nice. Where are you guys headed to now? Rancho. Rancho? Rancho. 
What you guys got going on over there? Nice. Where'd you guys vacation to? How's your weekend? It's good. Can't complain. Where'd you guys vacation to? Huh? In Arizona. In Arizona? Nice. What part? Phoenix. Phoenix? Nice. Ah, that's the real heat out there, huh? Let me see. Yeah. Uh, if you get behind the wheel, just make sure to slow it down. We've been having a lot of crashes. I'm out here just trying to, so people see me, you know what I mean? Yeah. So take care, okay? No, no, let's come over here. The NMSP officer could smell marijuana coming from the passenger side window as they approached. The marijuana smell and conflicting stories from the two sonas prompted a search of the car Senna was driving. So before you take off, okay, I gotta address something real quick. Yeah. So in the car, I'm getting an odor of marijuana, okay? Have you guys been smoking no, in the car? No way you can smell. Okay. So have you guys had any marijuana in the car? Anyone smoking around it? Uh, okay. Um, where did you guys stay while you guys were in Gallup? We stayed at a hotel and my cousin, there's like these trailers. I don't really know that I just like so you know, there's the middle exit. Okay. We stayed at the Holiday Inn. Holiday Inn. Holiday Inn. Okay. And uh, was your mom with you the yeah, entire she's time? Been, she's been with me. She's been with you this yeah. entire time. Okay. And you haven't smoked any no, marijuana. Yeah. Because you just showed me the THC. No, yeah, like we don't, I, I was gonna buy a thing, but like, look. Do you see like the thing right there? I don't have a battery to smoke. No, no, I, I get it. Yeah. But. Uh, I'm just saying it smells like that. My, my mom does have a marijuana cart. She has a marijuana cart? Yeah, but okay. there's no way we were to smoke because... Did you guys smoke and then get in the car kind of thing? No, we haven't smoked at all. Okay. And actually, she's not even feeling good. She's not feeling good? Yeah. Okay. So look, man, I'm a task force officer with Homeland Security. Yeah. Okay. So that odor of marijuana gives me probable cause to search a vehicle. And what about, what, uh, um, she has a medical marijuana cart. So technically... Do you have a medical marijuana no, card? I don't smoke. Like I haven't sm I smoke, but like I haven't yeah. been able. So, to. so just based off that smell, I'm gonna be searching the car. Okay. Right. Is there anything illegal in the car? No. Like, what's it called? Um, like she has a medical marijuana card, so like technically, I'll come to search, right? I'm sorry. She has a medical marijuana card, so like. So. Yeah. That. That. Okay. Yeah. That's yeah. fine. She has a medical marijuana card, but the car still smells like it, and you're in possession of the car. You know what I mean? Yeah, I know, but like... So, like I said, I'm going to search the car. Is there anything illegal in the car? No. Is there any large amounts of U.S. currency? No. Over like $10,000? No. Is there right. any firearms in the car? No. no? Is there any methamphetamine in the car? Is there any heroin in the car? Is there any cocaine in the car? Yeah. Go ahead and find Is there any fentanyl in the car? Nothing like that? No other illegal drugs like ecstasy and stuff like that? Pills? No? Okay. Cool, man. What I'm going to have you do is I'm going to have you go probably up to the I-40 sign, the uh, exit 140, the one that says Casino Hotel, and I'll talk to you about My mom does have a medical marijuana. Okay, I'll talk to her. I'll talk to her. Hello, ma'am. So I'm Officer Rodriguez of New Mexico State Police. Like I was explaining to him, uh, I'm smelling a uh, odor of marijuana coming from inside the vehicle, okay? He's saying that you have a, a medical marijuana card. So, yes, do you haven't had one? Okay, so uh, although in the state of New Mexico it's legal, federally marijuana is still a uh, controlled substance. So like I was telling him, I'm a task force officer with Homeland Security, okay? So the odor of the marijuana gives me probable cause to search a vehicle. Okay. No, I get it. Do you have uh, the keys to the car? Where are the keys at? Okay. Um, does he have the keys on him? Should. Okay. Give me one sec. Uh, actually, can I have you step out for me, ma'am? And then you don't have any weapons on you or anything like that? Okay, so I'm going to have you also go here to the side, not as far as him, but you could probably hang out right here where it kind of opens it's, up with the I, weeds. I can't sit in the car, it's on the heat. I'm sorry, the heat. You, if you want, I can let you sit in the back of my car, okay. uh, and I'll leave the door open. So you could step out at any time. You get in and get out. I'll, I'll just step out. Okay. 
<laughs> yeah, that's fine. I'm searching the vehicle. I don't need permission. Like I, like I was explaining to you, I have probable cause to search the vehicle. Six and Ten four. Can you get uh, me another unit? I'm going to be searching this vehicle off a of PC search. Task Force Officer with Homeland Security. That's a federal agency. I have probable cause to search the car. No, the yes, I do. K96 uh, come. Uh, do you have a Laguna unit close? Can I get my phone? No. Dolores tried to lie out of her way from an arrest, but they could not fool the officer. But there was no odor in the car. I didn't smoke it in the car. Okay, but still, there's an odor if it's coming from in the car. Doesn't matter if it, you guys, because he even showed me the THC cartridge that he has. Okay. So that's just building up my reasonable suspicion and then into that probable cause. Okay? This is silly. So, be up front with me. Is there anything illegal in the car? Not that I know of, no, there shouldn't be. Yeah. I went to Arizona and I had him come pick me up because I went down there with a boyfriend who... You went with him? I went with a boyfriend who... I, I'm covered in bruises right now. Okay. And I just wanted to go home. I had him come pick me up. And we had a family member die. And it's just everything's fucked up. Who died? His aunt. What's her name? Lori. Okay. And so I just want to go home. If you guys just let me, I search the car. If nothing's in there, you guys are good to go. But you guys start doing this stuff. It's you guys are delaying like, me. Like, I don't know what... I don't understand what the deal with this problem is. Okay, so I got I got someone else coming by. Okay, so you guys need to just behave. Okay, if not, you guys are gonna be put into custody. Okay. You guys don't need that, right? No. Okay. Was he with you in the entire time, your son? Um, not the, no. I went down there first. And he picked you up. Where were you staying? His boyfriend. What's his name? Ben. Ben what? My son never met him or anything. Ben. Ben what? Ben Luhan. Luhan. How long have you known him? Not very long. Not very long? Where were you staying with him? At his house. At his house? What's the address? I don't, I don't know the address. I just, I, he just picked me up like maybe a week ago. I met him online. Met him online? But I'm not trying to tell my son that, you know, because I don't want him to freak out. But no, I, I get it. Go online and... So where do you live? I live in Cerritos. Huh? In Cerritos. On Cerritos Road? In Cerritos. In Cerritos? Okay. So what are all the bags for? Those are all yours? Um, it's whatever he brought. I, I brought one bag. Which one's your bag? 
Um, I have it in the back seat. Which one's his bag? The one with the lock, I'm guessing? Um, I'm not sure. He came with a few friends and I don't know where they stayed. I wanted to come home so I'm sick. I feel good. Yeah. So whose car is this? It's my car. When did you buy it? Um, it's, it's both of our car. He pays, he has to pay for it. And, Who? Uh, my son. Your son? Okay. So, so both of our I get it. I get it. You guys share it. But who actually went and bought it and did the paperwork on it? It's under my name. Under your name? You did it then? Okay. Because that tag that they gave you is not supposed to be on the car. What tag? The tag that you have. Really? The, the license plate just came in. I got to call the license plate just came into the dealership. Yeah. So that plate is not supposed to be on that car. That's weird. That's what they gave us. Yeah. So that's a dealer tag. Dealers aren't supposed to give that to their customers that buy it. This dealer they're ash from their hand, to be honest with you, when we bought it. Yeah. Did you guys stop anywhere else along the way? No. No hotels, nothing like that? We stayed last night in Gallup. Stayed in Gallup. The officer then turned his attention back to Michael, and he buckled under the pressure. Okay, Mr. Senna. So like I was telling you earlier, okay, I'm a task force officer with There's Homeland Security. We. There is no we, but okay. you could have smelled. Okay. I'm telling you. You're saying that. Okay, I'm not just saying that. No, I'm I, saying that because I smelt it as soon as that window opened up. That's no, why you guys rolled no three way. windows down, okay? There's I'm not no dumb. Way. Okay? So, Mr. Senna, like I was telling your mom, I work with Homeland Security. We can help you if you're willing to do that. So, if I just give you the window, will it be all right? Okay? So, if you have something in there that needs to be delivered to somebody, we can help you get that delivered to you, to them. What do you mean? to help you out like, what do you because mean? the way it is right now whatever you have in there you're not looking at state charges man you're looking at federal charges so like i said this is i'm not trying to lie to you i'm not messing with you i even i showed you my 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 credentials how homeland what security you, what do you mean you'll help me deliver it to them that means we'll do a controlled delivery we'll deliver it to them okay we'll give them fake stuff and we'll take those guys down we don't want you, man. We want the, the bigger guys on the chain. That's what we want. I get it, man. I'm not. I'm not judging you. I'm not making. I'm not doing anything to you, okay, man. I get it. You're probably in a rough spot. You got to do something. So let's get How it to where I, it needs to go. Need to That's something we need to talk to HSI about. But what's in the car, man? It's weed. Weed and what? Like, well, you, you need a warrant for the bag. I don't, man. I you don't. Do. I have a lawyer. I know I don't. my rights. I know I don't. my rights. I really don't, man. I, and I'm not messing with you. No, no, no. I know any federal rights. authority, any federal agency, they smell weed and it's boom, they search. No, no, we're not doing that. Okay. Is there anything else? No, you cannot search the vehicle. Okay. Because the bags are locked. I know my rights. That's that's not how it works, man. I know the rights, bro. That's not how it works. I if I rights. if I smell it, that's probable cause to no. search the car as but is. But if she has a medical medical marijuana card, you cannot search it even if you smell okay. it. Okay. So look, man, I'm gonna search it. You try interrupting, you're gonna go in cuffs. Do you, can we talk about the control bag? I've never done it before. So look, let me go take a look at the car, no. then we'll go from there. Oh, can we all talk to my mom together? Hmm? Can we talk to my mom together, please? Hold on, hold on. Please, bro. There's more in there. I know there's more than just me. Bro, no. Okay. You need a warrant for the bag. So look, you're you're making me uncomfortable, dude. No, I'm uncomfortable myself. Okay. So, I could get an agent on the phone if you want to talk to them. But what's in the car, dude? Just be honest. I'm going to search it. Whether you try and mess with me after the fact and you go in handcuffs and it doesn't work out for you and you end up just getting the federal charges and not helping out, it's up to you. Mom, what should I do? I need to ask something. Okay. Talk to my mom. Okay, do me one second. Turn around. All right, fine. I'll do the control buy. Turn around. I'm just going to get the, the THC thing out of your pocket. Let's come over here. Do you want to really talk to your mom about it? So, what 
do you like? So, your mom, right? I'm trying to explore options with him because, sure, I'm in a state police uniform, right? But I work for Homeland Security. I don't want him. I want the bigger guy on the chain. Right, and who's to say they're not walking, driving by right now and seeing what I was talking to you? True. You guys are delaying this process by talking and asking questions, and I get it. You guys want to be informed on it. But if there's something in there, we replace it, we go down, we take down that guy. <laughs> okay? And I don't know, but usually when people cooperate, it lessens stuff for them. You know what I mean? So I'm that I'm just throwing it up in the air. That's why it's up to you. It's not up to me. I, I'm not forcing you by any means, okay? I'm leaving it up to you guys. But time is of the essence to get that done. The search revealed a whole lot more than the officer had anticipated. at six second. So my supervisor's coming, and right now he's getting on the phone with Homeland Security, okay? So, like I was telling you, Mr. Senna, I get it, man. I'm not judging you, okay? We, we want to make sure that we get the bigger guy on the chain. You helping, I'm not saying it erases everything, okay? I'm being very clear on that. But it's gonna be beneficial to you in the long run. Because right now, with that amount, it's, it's not good for you guys solely, okay? He's on his way. He's, on, he's coming from Albuquerque, so I'd say 20 minutes. <laughs> yeah, he's gonna be coming in a Tahoe, probably coming west. I, 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 I can't say anything on that. Okay. We gotta talk. We gotta talk to those HSI agents. Okay. They're gonna be the ones that are gonna be able to tell you exact. I'm just trying to help you get this to the other guy that's higher than you to get them. So, well, they're gonna they, I'm, snitched on home. I get it, man. I get it. That's why I'm leaving it completely up to you. So we could just talk to the Homeland Security. Those you guys can talk to Homeland Security. They're gonna be able to talk, give you a lot more information. Okay. Oh. But it, it's not. This is not any way like on the state side. Okay, man. So like you're right. State side, I do need a warrant. I need consent. Okay. Federal side, because I'm with Homeland Security, that odor, and based on everything that I've seen during the stop, I knew something was going on, okay? So that's why where we're at. Doesn't matter if you have locks on the bags, whatever's in that car is being searched. Let me make 
a phone call on that. But I tried not to. I'm not going to say anything. I'm driving this straight over there and get pulled to a, a parking space. Okay, so right now I'm putting you in handcuffs, man, just because you're getting in the back of my car. Everyone gets, gets in handcuffs. Way. She's going to come to. Oh, but I can choose the next one. Please. I could fit a Wonder Woman in my unit. You got to understand. Kids, do you mind? This is my mom. So it's against policy. Once we get over there, we'll let you guys sit together. Okay? Sound good? Yeah. You can take one, I'll take the other. Yeah. So you're going to come in my car? I'm just putting you in handcuffs just because you're coming in my car, okay? Uh, like your brain, man. You've been cool with me. I'm just going to put them like... What was that? No, man. When you drive it, you're not going to walk all that yeah, stuff. Yeah, I it off. Like, before I do it, like... Oh, I get it, man. This is just the paperwork. I'm gonna have a seat. And then, ma'am, you're probably gonna have to ride with one of them. The search uncovered two black lock pistols and a clear extended magazine in the trunk. The officer also discovered a red duffel bag containing clear plastic bags filled with blue circular pills marked with M30. 24 of the bags were labeled 5,000, with four others unmarked. Additionally, a cylindrical package wrapped in plastic was found inside the red duffel bag. Both Michael and Dolores were taken to the Albuquerque Homeland Security Investigation Office to be processed. A special agent at HSI weighed and tested the pills, which were found to be fentanyl. The cylinder-shaped package tested positive for heroin. A jar of marijuana was also found in the trunk of the car. Victor Senna, aged 36 of Cranston, was sentenced in the U.S. District Court in Providence to 84 months in federal prison for possession of fentanyl with the intent to distribute.